What's up guys, Robot IQ here. Um I got the aluminum filament in the mail. I got this on Friday. It's Sunday. There's like like metal staples in the box. But uh yeah, I don't know why. I just noticed that. Oops. But um yeah guys, so it is small. It is I think 250 grams of filament. So it is a smaller roll. But that is okay guys, because it is aluminum. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. If you guys see any rip marks? I just ripped my address off. Check myself. Um, my Gerber multi tool here. Tell you what, guys, this thing is taped up good. Just got here pretty quick. You guys, like the uh, new filming spot? I am in my backyard on the uh, table little glass table we got out here so I won't be able to film out here very many times because it is getting colder out Anyways, I like to stay warm it's a nice evening like it is today Super Bowl Sunday all right guys I don't know who the heck's playing today I don't really watch football that much but um there we go guys nice astronaut looking package um, no, that's nice. That's vacuum sealed. Guys, that's the filament. Oh, look at that, guys. They included a sample print. That is cool. I was not, I was honestly not expecting that, guys. Sweet, guys. I might actually make this a two-part video now. Um, okay. So, it has a diameter of 1.75 millimeter and 3 millimeter. Uh, tolerance is 0 0.04 millimeters. Uh, high strength, great durability, low warping, and moisture resistance, guys. Look at that. Beyond imagination through innovation. The slogan, guys. Rep Rapper 3D Printing Filament, guys. Huge shout out to them. I will leave a link to their website in the description below. Um, they got awesome filaments, guys. So they have 250 gram roll. Aluminum 1.75 millimeter. Print temperature is uh, recommended between 190 and 240 C. Um, again, guys, beyond imagination through innovation comes with a uh, silica gel pack in there. Keeps the moisture out. Uh, nice recycled cardboard, I believe cardboard uh, spool. So, uh, so I'm gonna get back to this. Pretty. This is nice though. Holy cow! I believe they actually sent this in the thing. Cool, guys. I'll get back to that later. Put that back in the box. Keep it safe. Um, so, yeah, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this open. Uh, heard it hiss. All year rushed in. Yes, it is vacuum sealed. Oh, here it is. I got a regular piece of white PLA. Just to compare it again. That is nice. That just has a nice feel to it, guys. Almost feels like stone, kind of. The uh, spool. That's nice. It's like a, like a, I don't know, like a cardboard stone. This is nice, guys. So I'm going to just take it out of here. Quick, I want to cut myself off a little piece. All oh, the struggles of filming. All right. Guys, neighbors got home. They're not the quietest neighbors. Um, yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, it does feel a little bit brittle, though. I must say, it does like feel quite flexible. But I mean, I feel like it would like snap easily. Like I don't know. Like PLA definitely wouldn't do this. Here, I'll do it with the PLA, guys. See, it, PLA just snaps. This stuff, I mean. It's a little bit more soft. 
It actually, I don't know if you guys will see it. It does have a little bit of a sparkle to it. Look on the inside. Or my dog's back here, guys. But, uh, yeah, it kind of has, like, a little bit of a sparkle. Um. But, yeah, guys, that's actually really cool. Um. I don't know if you guys seen the, uh, other video I talked about this stuff. I'm going to be building, or 3D printing, I say, a V8 model engine out of this stuff, guys. I'm going to try to wet sand it up, like, try to polish it. Um, you know, bring it to a nice polish. Um. Yeah, guys, I'm actually going to do some uh, measurements here. See if they're 400th, plus or minus one. There we go. Plus or minus four hundredths of a millimeter accuracy is correct. So I'm going to measure it here. 1.71. That's within it. 0.71. 1.73. One point seven two, one point seven five, one point seven seven, one point seven two, one point seven six. Guys, this is truly accurate filament. One point seven five. Like if I squeeze it hard enough with the calipers, like it, like, puts marks in the filament, guys. It is softer. I should say then regular filament 1.65 see this is hatchbox PLA guys oh I don't know this isn't hatchbox um this came with my 3d printer 1.82 this stuff runs a little bit on the big end I guess 1.67 oh a little small there 1.7 so yeah that stuff's all over the place but uh this aluminum rep wrapper filament 1.72 guys this is spot on 1.73 guys that is true accuracy, guys. I am not lying there. I am genuinely impressed. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, this is pretty cool. That's probably going to be about it for this video, guys. Uh, hope to see you next time. Later.